Okay, here's a wild one. What if I told you a group of Russian thinkers in the 1800s believed science could make us immortal, and that we should colonize the entire universe? They were called cosmists and didn't just want to explore space. No, no, these guys wanted to control it. Meet Nikolai Fyodorov, a mild-mannered librarian with some enormous ideas. His mission? End aging, defeat death, and, wait for it, resurrect everyone who's ever lived. Imagine waking up, and your 300-year-old ancestors are asking why you still don't own land. But he was serious. He thought science would one day bring back every human in history, so we could all live happily ever after. In space. Crazy? Maybe. But Fyodorov's ideas inspired real scientists, like Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, the father of modern rocketry. Yeah, the scientist whose work helped launch the Soviet space program. This fringe sci-fi philosophy helped shape the same space race that put humans on the moon. And today, space colonization, life extension tech, AI resurrecting historical figures, cosmism is having a comeback. Even the idea of using science to cheat death is alive today. Russian scientist Alexander Bogdanov experimented with blood transfusions, believing they could make people live longer. Now, biotech companies are testing ways to slow aging with gene therapy. Even music wasn't safe from cosmist influence. Composer Alexander Scriven dreamed of a reality-altering symphony to unite humanity and transcend physical existence, a cosmist take on the music itself. And with today's breakthroughs in physics and space exploration, quantum mechanics, Dyson spheres, and even discussions on interstellar civilizations, maybe the cosmists weren't so far off after all. So, were the cosmists visionaries or just a little too obsessed with sci-fi? Would you want to live forever in space? Comment below, like, and subscribe.